higher interest rates, rising energy prices and plummeting credit are likely pushing the European economy into recession. We think the European Central Bank has delivered a final blow by continuing to tighten monetary policy, reinforcing our caution toward Europe and developed market equities outside the US. Let's take a closer look. First and foremost, we believe the European Central Bank has hiked rates too much, severely damaging the availability of credit. Its full impact on the economy is likely still to be felt, but credit has already plummeted across all categories, and corporate loans are an outright decline. A survey among banks shows corporate credit demand hitting new lows as credit standards tighten. Further, we expect a global rise of real yields and energy prices to hurt investment and consumption. And with trade already on the back foot due to China's economic struggles, Europe's economy doesn't have much to fall back on. The latest business and consumer sentiment data reinforced a picture of a looming recession. The Purchasing Manager Index for Europe's manufacturing and services sector has dropped below 50, indicating contraction. And consumer confidence has fallen. As a result, retail sales, industrial production and trade are all declining. The only silver lining is that inflation has fallen more rapidly than expected. We think this growing list of economic troubles makes the probability of recession across Europe high. In our view, the European Central Bank, by looking backward more than forward, will likely keep monetary policy tight for too long. And policymakers can't control rising real yields, higher energy prices, and weak trade at the same time. Therefore, we've maintained our cautious stance towards European equities with a tactical underweight to develop markets outside the US in our global policy model that guides allocation in Northern Trust portfolios.